welcome to all car review channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. An SUV version of a Mini isn't small and isn't like an old Mini. If you can't get past that fact, you're never going to love the 2018 Mini Countryman D. But, if you have an open mind and look at this vehicle as an SUV with its own character and an awesome sense of style, it may just win you over its BMW X1 donor vehicle. Despite the fact the Countryman shares a platform with the BMW X1, it takes on its own design and appears more youthful than the somewhat conservative X1. Countryman pricing kicks off from $40,500, plus on-road costs, for the entry-level two-wheel drive 1.5-liter Countryman petrol, moving to $44,500, plus on-road costs, for the two-wheel drive 2.0-liter diesel Countryman detested here, with the $47,200, plus on-road costs, 2.0-liter petrol Countryman is rounding off the two-wheel drive offering. Two all-wheel drive models, the 2.0-liter diesel Countryman SD from $52,300, plus on-road costs, and a 2.0-liter John Cooper works from $57,900, plus on-road costs, complete the lineup. In comparison to the BMW X1, entry-level pricing undercuts the X1 offering by some $6,100, while the X1 is only available with a 2.0-liter petrol engine and all-wheel drive trim, commanding a $60,700, plus on-road costs, price tag. The front-wheel drive diesel variant tested here really is the sweet spot in the range. With 160 mm of ground clearance, it's barely equipped to go for an off-road expedition, but it's enough clearance to get you to a camping site surrounded by muddy roads. Under the Countryman D's bonnet is a 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine that produces 110 kilowatts of power and 330 newton meters of torque, which is sent through an eight-speed automatic gearbox. The results in a combined fuel economy figure of just 4.8 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers, a seriously remarkable figure. It feels pretty quick in standard trim, shooting from standstill to 100 kilometers per hour in just 8.8 .8 seconds. In all-wheel drive trim, the uprated version of this engine gives the diesel a peppy acceleration figure from standstill to 100 kilometers per hour of 7.4 seconds. To put both of these numbers in perspective, they're not too far off a Volkswagen Golf GTI, which does the same sprint in 6.4 seconds with the aid of launch control. If you're purchasing the Countryman as a family car, you'll be pleased to hear that there's 450 liters of cargo capacity available with the second row in place. Once the second row is folded, in a 40-20-40 fashion, that space increases to 1390L. Second row leg and headroom are surprisingly good, but it's slightly let down by narrow doors that can make access to the second row a bit cumbersome for taller passengers. The second row also features a pair of isofix seat anchor points. A 12V power outlet is surrounded by two air vents in the second row, with ample storage indoor pockets for anything your kids can think of cramming into them. At the front of the cabin, there is a feeling of space and size that doesn't quite match the vehicle's exterior. In typical Mini fashion, the central cluster is circular, while the speedometer and tachometer sit statically attached to the steering wheel. A 6.5-inch color infotainment system comes standard, which includes satellite navigation and DAB plus digital radio. External connectivity includes USB, 3.5mm auxiliary input in Bluetooth audio and telephone streaming. A BMW iDrive S controller sits at the bottom of the console and is used to navigate through the infotainment system. It's a piece of cake to use and quite intuitive in terms of menu layout. It also features unique mini styling to differentiate it from many products. 